Hi, my name is Sandy Stott. I'm chair of the Conservation Commission in Brunswick, and I'm here primarily as a representative of the citizens of Brunswick and also as an appreciator. The burn that you've heard talked about and it is right behind us is one of the great moments for a piece of landscape that needs fire. And that's often misunderstood in the larger community. So I'll, I'll use an example from a couple of years ago. In 2020, I attended a full day burn at the Crystal Spring Farm on Brunswick Topsom Land Trust's 14 acres. And that happened to be run by Burn Boss Black and by Chief Brilliant. And so I've watched them work before. 13 people coordinated to run that burn. And it was a remarkable um, exercise in preparation and control and a collaboration between state and local authorities. And it made me feel very good. Um, but a number of people have questions. They say, so you're burning up a whole bunch of vegetation and you know, isn't it all natural? And part of our work at Crystal Spring, which is a similar landscape to this, was to make sure that some plants and some species are privileged so that we can maintain diversity in our landscape. So I walked around the day after the burn and everything was ashes. I went back three weeks later and everything was greening the way it is behind us now. But here's what, I, here's what I was really struck by. I went back the year after in July to watch a blueberry harvest. And some of it was taking place on the land that had been burned. The farmer at Crystal Springs, Seth Croc, was donating a full day of labor. And the Brunswick Topson Land Trust was donating this stretch of blueberry land. And he was going along and harvesting. And when we talked at the beginning, he said, we'll get a couple thousand pounds of berries in a day. And I thought, wow, that's pretty impressive, a ton of berries. That's a lot of picking. Um, I walked, walked along. At, after he finished, I checked in with him. He said, yeah, we actually got over 4,000 pounds of blueberries. And that all got donated to local food pantries. And so this was a bonanza of blueberries. And so for people who are worried about regeneration, whether it's the pitch pines coming back, whether it's the blueberry barrens coming back, the fire is actually what promotes that and the richness of what returns. And so just as Kristen was talking about the way that the pitch pine works, this is carefully thought through. This is not just random fire. And it's also carefully maintained. Um, I have one other thought. I write a lot about search and rescue and the White Mountains, and so I know a lot about um, professionals and uh, trained, trained citizens working together for the common good. And I was so reminded while I watched Chief Brilliant and Boss Black and the people who were working with them, I was so reminded of the coordination of the search and rescue groups that go off into the mountains to haul us out when we fall or when we get hurt. And that kind of coordination is not only good for the landscape, but it's awfully good for the community, too.